Hoorah, RS Albany Warriors. Guttery Sergeant Snyder here with another episode of Fit to Fight. And this one's gonna be a little bit different today. We're gonna be talking a little bit about one of the questions that you all have continued to promote on the comments in the Fit to Fight comments below each one of the videos. Something that I've seen a little bit from, from all of my travels across the RS to the different stations that are out there. A lot of police seem to have questions about this. So today we're gonna to tackle a little bit on this discussion to help you kind of understand the do's and don'ts. What we're gonna be talking about today is supplements. Most importantly, nutritional supplements, health supplements, all of those different areas where you tend to see a lot of different products being sold, marketed, and manufactured with the promise of helping you get stronger, better, faster, whatever the case may be. Now again, I just want to start out by letting you know that I am not a nutritionist and I'm certainly not a doctor by any standard. I'm simply a Marine who has some experience with fitness and all of the information I'm going to be providing for you today is based off of my own research and my own experiences. Okay, so as I said before, traveling across the different stations, I have a lot of different poolies that come up to me and say, hey Gunny Snyder, sir, what supplements are you taking? Or they're coming up and they're showing me the things that they've been purchasing at different locations and hey sir, check this out, this is what I've been taking recently. It's gonna make me so much stronger. It's gonna make me so much faster. Again, I'm not saying that there aren't supplements out there that are good for you, but I do wanna go over some key points and today I'll be discussing three main points just to try to help you to figure out what you should be looking for in your supplements and what you should be staying away from. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right into point number one. Point number one is that there's actually no magic pill. Now, I know you guys spend a lot of time on social media, checking out Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. If you're watching YouTube videos, there's all kinds of information out there about supplements, especially diet and nutrition supplements. Everybody's got the latest product with the coolest information backed by science that tells you that if you simply take this one supplement, all of your problems are going to be cured. With one scoop of whatever it is, you're simply going to be skinnier, more muscle, faster, stronger, looking better, feeling better the whole night. Well, I'm here to tell you that all of that is through fancy marketing and fancy advertisement because the health and nutrition industry has taken off over the last couple of years. Again, there's no magic pill. Everything that you take when it comes to a supplement is really just something that is there to enhance your performance. Rule number one with this is that you have to make sure that you have a good solid foundation before you even start taking supplements. Because I deal with the majority of my poolies between the ages of 17 to 24, I would tell you that with a good diet, exercise and sleep plan, there's really not a lot of supplements out there that are gonna help you as much as you think. The general rule of thumb here is to supplement, not substitute. And what I mean by that is your supplements are really just something to enhance your already foundation built diet plan. You need to make sure that you're eating clean foods, that you're staying away from processed foods, foods with lots of sugars, or anything that you buy that's manufactured in a processing plant. Once you have a foundation of a good, balanced, clean diet, you're gonna couple that on top with your fitness plan. The fitness plans like you follow from the Fit to Fight series or any other programming that you might be following to help you with your pull-ups, your crunches, your run time, all of those different exercise programs that maybe your recruiters are using with you are going to help you to get in the best shape that you can possibly be in. Finally, the third part of that would be making sure that you have a solid sleep plan. Now we don't talk a lot about sleep and oftentimes when you watch videos about the Marine Corps or maybe you talk to your recruiters, they might tell you about some of the you know, experiences that they've had where they don't get a lot of sleep when they're operating in the forward areas or depending on what job it is that they do in the Marine Corps. While you have the opportunity as a pulley to prepare yourself for the rigors of recruit training and get yourself in peak physical condition, I strongly encourage you to try to make sure you're maintaining a good solid sleep plan. The three pinnacle foundations before I would have you start taking supplements would be your solid diet, your proper programming or workout plan, and then your recovery time, which is your sleep pattern. Once all of that is sound and solid, then you can go ahead and start enhancing your performance by introducing some supplements, which could potentially help you get a little bit faster or maybe a little bit stronger, maybe put on a little bit more mass or muscle size if that's what you're going for, or maybe you're on the opposite end of that and you need to cut some weight down. There are some supplements out there that will help you to trim off a little bit of that excess fat. 